I would like to take a moment to share my personal experience with vitamin D deficiency. I always considered myself healthy and never went to the doctors unless I was very sick or had to for some reason. It started over a year. I was always tired and depressed. I would sleep 10 to 14 hours at a time and still be tired. I'm all, I always been a very slight sleeper. I just moved in in a student housing apartment, which I regret so much. Um, it was filthy and three of my four roommates were noisy and slobs. I blamed my tiredness and depression on them. I would start to get lightheaded when I went to class because of the bright lights. And they bothered me so very much. I w Sometimes I would just feel like I, I would faint. I had a hard time reading long paragraphs. I would have to read one paragraph four to five times just to understand it. And even then, I, sometimes I don't get the full extent of it. I always been good at math, except this semester for some reason. Um, for mathematics, for techno mathematics for technology, I had the highest score for every assignment I did, including the test. During the finals, I couldn't reconcentrate for the last two questions. I broke down and started crying. I was told I, sh I shouldn't worry. I had the highest grade, even if I didn't take the finals. I would still have gotten an A. The next thing I knew, I, I cheered up and gave my professor a hug. He looked at me funny, of course. Then he said to me, I could be bipolar and not know it because his wife is bipolar. I didn't know why I was always late for his class and other classes. I would get plenty of sleep. It started to get worse throughout the year. I have gotten to a point where what it would normally take me half a day for maybe an essay or even like a few hours. It then it would just take me now it would take me about over a week just to do, which is ridiculous. And I would have to take freaking breaks in between. Because my I had given memory box for some reason. Something happened, so of course, right? I never go to the doctor. Something happened, so I went to see my doctor. I got a blood test. It came back that I was vitamin D deficient. That explains everything. I was prescribed fifty thousand milligram of vitamin D a week. Every time I took it, I would get a burst of energy, but then I was always feel this high. It was too much for me. And a thousand milligram a day, but on those days when I took it, I'm still always tired. It was not enough. It was very hard to find a balance, but I just stuck to what my doctor prescribed and just took it according to what she prescribed. About half a year later, my primary doc care doctor um, said that my levels were okay and I could stop taking it. So I have been, st I have been st stopped taking it for maybe like a month now, a month and a half. But I still, sometimes I get really tired and I, I feel like I had to have that vitamin D just in case it comes back. Then, um, um, it's like, I, I, it's not my best semester, but I am bouncing back. I'm still a bit slow, but I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm doing this assignment, right? Um, let's see. I feel like I was not, okay. Um, my symptoms were constipation which was really, really bad. Um, I would be constipated 
sometimes up to two weeks at a time. And I never had that where two weeks where it's unheard of, you know, and I would get that often. It was very painful. I would have to take um, some sort of laxatives or some sort of cleanser to help myself. Um, I had depression. I wouldn't get up in the bed. I just didn't want to. And then I had thoughts of suicide. Every little thing, I cried uncontrollably. I just sobbed. My eyes were red all the time. I had short-term memory, which added to my depression <laughs> and stress. I had poor concentration in school and everything. I would get migraines at home, in class. And when I go to the stores, like Walmart, because of bright light, I would get nausea. I would get stress and anxiety about every little thing. So I recommend definitely get checked often. Go to your primary care doctor. Don't be like me where it's like, okay, I, I'm fine, I'm healthy, there's no visible symptoms, you know? And just think that there's an excuse for everything. Like, oh it's my neighbors or my roommates. No, don't do that. Go see your doctor if you suspect something. If you recognize symptoms of this for somebody else, bring it to their attention because they might not know, like, like me. I didn't realize that. And according to a study, 42% of Americans are vitamin D deficient. <laughs> that is a lot. So, was that day. Please go and be healthy.